I really don't think there could be anything more boring than network switches. I mean, the box is boring, the product's boring. Like, they even look boring. Look at them, it's just metal boxes. But I have something I'm legitimately excited about today. This is the first 10 gigabit network switch designed for like prosumer use at a much more reasonable price point, $250 compared to the kind of money that we've spent on the past on the 10 gigabit switches in our server room. But is this even the only option, this one from ASUS? Or are you better off picking up one of these suckers off eBay? Well, let's find out, shall we? Phoenix's Aria headphones come complete with a cardioid mic and acoustic chambers constructed of Japanese pine wood. Check them out at the link in the video description. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna have to clear some space on my uh, test bench here. So the first question I need to answer, and I can do this while we open this puppy up and have a look at it, is what is the point of a faster network infrastructure in my home? Does it make my interneting better? Can I load Neopets faster? And the answer is no. If the only thing you use your home network for is browsing the internet, this will not make any lick of difference whatsoever, unless somehow you have an internet connection that is faster than one gigabit, the speed of a standard commodity network switch. So then the next obvious question that people are always asking me is, well, if it doesn't make your internet faster, what's the point? And where does it even go? Do I replace my wireless router with it? The answer is no, you don't. It actually works in conjunction with your existing router, whether it's an aftermarket one or whether it's one that was provided by your internet service provider. So what you do is your internet goes in where it always did. And instead of plugging your computer into this bad boy, you plug this switch into your original router slash wireless access point slash modem and all of that good stuff. So all of this accomplishes two things. First and foremost, it allows you to plug more physical devices into your network than would previously fit. So you've gone from this to now this. A lot better, right? But that could have just as easily been achieved with a cheapo $20 switch. So what the XG U2008 brings to the table is it adds these two, what I'm gonna call fast lanes. These are 10 gigabit ports, so they run at 10 times the speed of standard gigabit networking. This is useful for a couple of different use cases. So number one, let's say you have a lot of people in a house or an office who wanna edit 4K video or who wanna watch uncompressed Blu-ray rips at the same time. You plug all those guys into all these other ports here, boom, 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 and then you plug a server machine with faster networking on board and fast storage into one of the 10 gig ports. Now all of a sudden these guys can all get their full network speed off of that same source device. Pretty cool, right? Another potential scenario is let's say that you've got a new gaming rig with some ballin' out SSD and you wanna get files off of, I don't know, a Steam library or something elsewhere on your network much faster. Well, an SSD, even a SATA one, can do somewhere in the neighborhood of four to six times the speed of standard gigabit networking. So by adding 10 gigabit, all of a sudden, you can transfer 10 times faster to one other machine on the network off of that same server. So let's do a practical demonstration then. Here are my 10 gigabit ports right here. This one is leading to a fast storage machine over in our server room over there. And this one is gonna go into the 10 gigabit networking ports that are built into the X99E10GWS that I used for my desk PC. Hopefully what I'm about to do doesn't shut down the network in the rest of the building, but we will find out soon enough. What? Oh crap, uh, okay, one second. 
My server room needs some work, I know. So here we go. In a moment, this should pick up here. And there we go. 10 gigabit per second speed. If you're not seeing that, by the way, you might need to upgrade your cables. We're using CAT6A. So let's go ahead and, uh, and have a look at what a 10 gigabyte file transfer might look like on a 10 gig network. Very nice. Wow. You know what? I think I was totally wrong. This does make Neopets better. But I promised a weird eBay alternative, didn't I? Yes, I did. And I'm delivering this, my friends. Oh, it's heavy. Is the Quanta Computer LB6M. This is an entry level kind of enterprise grade 10 gigabit network switch that seems to be being phased out of some big data center somewhere because these things are all over eBay for around the same price, 250 bucks. You get two power supplies that have a reassuring whine to them, and you get 24 10 gigabit ports along with four regular gigabit ethernet ports, a couple management ports, and a console port. So while you will have to deal with some funny business, for example, you're gonna have to use these SFP plus direct attach copper cables or like fiber optic modules in order to connect everything. And these can be quite expensive, uh, anywhere from kind of 20 to even over $100 a pop. And you will need to have the same matching hardware on the other side for your network cards. But again, there's more good news because these SFP Plus cards can sometimes be had for cheaper than RJ45 equivalents. But if you're willing to do some fooling around because there are a lot of different firmwares out there and you're willing to get all command line Linux on it, this baby looks like it could be a pretty good value if you want more 10 gigabit and you're willing to give up the convenience and the uh, silence of a desktop switch like that. Squarespace. I don't know why they call it Squarespace because you could build your website any shape you want. It could even be a square or even a rectangle. Yes, my friend, square or rectangle. But what all Squarespace sites have in common is they look gorgeous and they work across any device you could want. And they make it easy to build. They offer live chat and email support 24 seven. It's inexpensive starting at only 12 bucks a month. And every website comes with a ton of great features including commerce, Cover pages, which allows you to have a beautiful one page online presence in minutes. Support for Apple News format, so you can have a Squarespace blog module and access like millions of potential readers. And the best part is you don't have to take my word for it. You can start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. Then use offer code LTT to get 10% off your first purchase. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, hit that dislike button. But if you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed, maybe even consider checking out where to buy the products we feature today at the link in the video description. Also down there, we've got our merch store with shirts like this one and other stuff. I think we have posters now too. Wow, it's amazing. Ah! And uh, something else. What else do we have down there? All right, our community forum, which you should totally join. Now that you're done doing all that stuff, you're probably wondering what to watch next. So check out our latest video over on Channel Superfun.